Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Aim Small Miss Small. My name is Ruan Skuman and today we're taking a look at does a muscle device affect your point of impact? So I shoot three different styles. I shoot with a muscle break, without a muscle break or with a silencer depending on the day of shooting that I decide. I've never looked at it this way to see if the impact actually changes and what it does to the grouping size. So I set out to the range shooting my 223 Hauer uh, with the muscle break. So my load development was originally done for shooting PRS and NRL style shooting with the muscle break. And I got down to about a half an inch, quarter of an inch grouping uh, on, the, on the gun with the muscle break. So I thought, let me take it off and see what happens. So I did some shooting at the range. I'll show you guys now what it looks like and what happened. And then I'll share my thoughts on why this actually happens. But let's get shooting. Stay tuned. I have decided to start with the muscle break just to show you what the grouping looks like. Unfortunately, I forgot to start the camera showing the shot placement. But I have the results at the end. I'm shooting 55 grain VMAX Hornady bullets with the PPU brass and with a CCI 400 primer. This was a six shot group that I shot and it started at number one, ended at number six. So just about a half an inch high on the bull. For the next one, I have decided to shoot the silencer. Same point of aim. And as you can see, that almost three inches low. And the grouping size is quite bigger than with the muscle break. This is a four shot group. And the end result showing that the adjustment to zero is up 2.16, which is almost two and a half inches lower than the original zero. And again, right 0.16 inches. For the last one, I did uh, with no muscle device. So I just unscrewed the silencer. And the point of impact is further to the left, about an inch. And the group size is also dramatically bigger than with the muscle break. Same points, same day, just the muscle device. On this one, the adjustment to zero. And there we can see. As for why this happens uh, with and without a muscle device, I have done the load development with the muscle brake on the rifle and the length of the barrel is quite an important factor for the shockwave or the harmonics as they call it on the shockwave. So if you take it off, you effectively reduce the length about two inches and that changes the harmonics which changes how the bullet exits uh, out of the barrel. So this affects your node and your barrel whip as they call it and same with if you add the silencer to the front you quite extensively increase the length of the barrel changing the harmonics. So that's my opinion about why it changes. So the, to just get rid of this all you have to do is select the muscle device that you want to shoot. In my case I shoot the four port muscle break for NRL and PRS style hunting and I shoot the silencer for hunting. So for hunting a half or a quarter inch grouping is not very much needed but I will do a low development on the silencer just to get the smaller group but it'll be a little bit more or a little bit less amount of powder and then that'll be fixed because all you have to do is change the harmonics to synchronize it with the length of the barrel. So guys, if you enjoyed the video and this helped you at all, please subscribe below and keep a lookout for the new videos coming. Thanks.